flames on it, on his up B, and he, once he loses his jump, he has a much shorter recovery than Fox. Um, name of the game for Bobby is long combos that he can get a ton of damage on into a down airs off stage or a strong move like back air, sometimes up air, you know. Um, and right now, Bobby, you know, getting that damage. Uh, now he just needs to find the kill. This is this is uh, where a lot of Falcos struggle in this matchup. A lot of them can do the damage, but it's can they get the kill? And the longer you leave Puff alive, the more opportunities she gets to just kill you. So you really want to, to close out stocks as fast as you can, because if Puff's down, then all of a sudden her percent matters a lot more, because when she's at 60 or 70, she can't go for rest anymore because you can just trade stocks. So Bobby needs to hold on to the stock, get some damage, and then take rest off the table so Aglet has to kill him in a different way. And yeah, see, um, this is what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah, Aglet's at the percent. Ooh, and he just dies straight off the top. Th this stage and, um, and Yoshi's are the, the two stages where you can do that the most. Yoshi is because the, the ceiling's super low and it has a top platform. This stage because the ceiling's medium, but the top platform is really high. Actually higher than Dreamland. And he's dead. That's the thing is Puff can gimp Falco, but um, Falco, one of the few characters where if he gets the right opportunity, he can actually just down air Puff and uh, get, some, get some early stocks on her, make her actually die early. Haha. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's not looking super good for Aglet. He's already at the percent where he can't really rest him. And uh, all Bobby has to do now is, is hold center, not get gimped, and just, you know, clean it out. Uh, unfortunately, reverse, and that should be it. Yep. Three stock game one. Let's see if Aglet can get the adaptation. All right, Dreamland, classic Puff counter pick. Gonna mitigate a lot of those uh, kill setups that Bobby was getting last time, letting him live a lot more. No shine off the top on this stage. That just does not work. Dreamland's way too big for that. And um, as Puff, you can do the strategy on this stage that I was talking about where you just get the get the percent, um, or if you get a high percent, you can, um, you know, just deny uh, Falco his kill options and just get more and more opportunities to get your rests and get your your um, your equalizers. And Bobby really wants to take this first stock for the similar reason. Taking rest off the table is super important in this matchup. Does not get the roll in. Bobby actually not I wouldn't say a bad habit of it, but he he does t tend to do that. All right, reads wrong on the uh, on the roll. Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. Aglet right now just wants to stay alive and just get some cheeky little kill on Bobby. Bobby looking for a, a nice strong hit to get him off. And yeah, it looks like Bobby maybe blew his jump, maybe just didn't di at the best. So yeah. So now Aglet looking for the rest. Yep, and now he's up. Um, one stock. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he barely got, gets the punish. Smart of him to just go for the backer. Doesn't want to land and miss it. Um, please do not take a shot every time Bobby dares. You would be dead. Immediately. Like, in like 10 seconds. Anyway. Bobby wants this combo. Um, does not. And he is really, really looking out for the grab, the up tilt, up air. Um, those are the... The, the trifecta of cheese in this matchup, that's how you kill Falco at 9%. But, you know, brings it back to even after the rest. Ooh. Pound on Shield does not get punished. Kind of weird to punish it sometimes if you're not expecting it. Don't really know what side puffs on a lot of the times. No punish on the forward smash either. Maybe just a tech club. Actually, getting, <laughs> getting a little cheeky with the, uh, with the forward smashes. Can't say that I necessarily agree with all of them. Maybe a little frustrated. I know that he was um, he was saying that he uh, he doesn't beat Bobby Big Balls that often. 
Finally gets one. Bobby Big Ball is not expecting it, even though he went for it like five times. And he... he dies. So yeah, Aglet back in the lead. Just trying to, you know, play defensive. Um, get these rest setups. Close out this game. Doesn't want to get Bobby down to even stocks with him. That is priority number one. Misses the DI on that. Definitely could DI that a little better. Maybe he was looking for up air. And all of a sudden, even game. Hagelip missing the instant throw. I don't know what happened. Maybe he just did it a little too early. And uh, didn't quite get it. Bobby should be dead. Yep. That's a dead Falco. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Back to Dreamland. Now see, this this is a statement by Bobby. I know Bobby doesn't think that this is a good counter pick. He just wants to say I can win here. Because <laughs> in all my sets against Bobby, he he did not pick me Dreamland. He does not think this is actually a good stage. He just wants to win here because he can. And a missed rest. Very unfortunate. Could have completely turned the tides of this game. Um, Miss rests and just rests in general, super important in this matchup, like I've been talking about the whole time, but miss rests especially, because not only do you get punished for it, but you miss the opportunity to get your kill. And all of a sudden this could be, um, this could have been a stock up for Aglet or at least even, but now it's a stock up for Bobby and he's only at 25. Ooh, smart grab there. Aglet looking for an opportunity through his pressure and Bobby just saying, nah, if you're gonna shield, then I'm gonna grab. Falco's grab, actually, not, not as good as Fox's, not as good as uh, some of the other characters, but still pretty good in this matchup. Can only get crouched if you space it really badly, just because of how circles work with hitboxes. Um, if you get the right spacing, it doesn't, doesn't get crouched. And uh, it can get some good follow-ups. You can SDI it, but yeah. Calling out the double jump, really smart by Bobby. Now he's up two whole stocks. Now the goal is to get him up to about 60-70 so that he can't get rested, and then all of a sudden this game looks really hard for Aglet. Yeah, looking for a nice juicy down air. Um, great. Ooh, nice drill. Yeah, yeah. Nice fade back drill. Um, fading back makes the hitbox better because of uh, hitbox interpolation. So it's easier to clip the up B. If you fade in with the drill, then you get burnt a lot more often. So smart of him to do that. Ooh. Okay, Bobby's smart to delay his up B. A lot of people do, or delay his double jump. A lot of Falcos would do it. It's double jump and get uh, cheese right there. Ooh. Aglet going for the cursed puff tech, the ledge dash. That no puff actually does. Because we're all bad at it. Yeah, that sucks for Aglet. Misses his ledge dash, misses some edge guards, and then misses the sing. That's a tilter for sure. FD is honestly, in my opinion, this is a cheese pick because Puff, by all means, should not get anything off of this stage. It's harder to traverse lasers because there are no platforms. Um, Falco can still get good punishes on it. It's just you can get a lot of cheeky little setups because he can't tech on the platforms. You can uh, you can get a lot more up tilts rest at even higher percents. Up throw rest if they don't DI, you don't have to go for a mix up, you can just get them with it. Um, looking like he's going for some pounds. And uh, you know, maybe just a desperation pick. Uh, doesn't, maybe he didn't want to go to go to FOD. Just, you know, want to go here instead. And I mean, not looking so good. He needs to get something Okay, that is something, and that is right now. So now, the game could be pretty much even, just gets like one hit, and then rest. Um, up throw rest won't kill on this stage at zero, if you DI correctly, but at 12, it will. So if he gets the grab here, uh, well, if he got the grab there, he could have done it, but now he has to do it with the intent to trade a stock. But you know, Bobby, kind of throwing his stocks away a little bit. Yeah, Valorizing, this is uh, generally considered to be a Falco counter pick, but pu some Puffs do like this stage um, for more punish game reasons and more uh, 
cheeky, cheesy reasons. But in general, um, I'd say it favors uh, Falco on paper. Ooh, yep, yep. Can't DI like that, otherwise you just die. And, uh, you know, even game. Bobby <laughs> kind of threw away two of his stocks, but, you know, Aglet, he's going to take that every day of the week. If you if you throw away stocks for someone in tournament, then, uh, then what are you going to do? And uh, gets the up throw, but Bobby gets the DI. He's gone for, like, six pounds in a row, and I really don't think it's going to work out for him. Oh, he does not quite... Oh, he doesn't get the... He was trying to push him off the stage there and then get the down tilt. Smart idea, but not quite the right spacing. And Aglet right now is just trying to get one of these setups for, for a Gimp or for a rest. Ooh! Goes for fair. Gets the weak hit. Definitely wanted strong hit to get him off stage. It was a little too far to get up air pound. Ooh. Back air off stage. One strong backer could do it right now at, at this part of the stage. Ooh, goes for upper. That's really risky. Aglet not posturing himself quite in the position to punish it. And Bobby is going right at the edge of the stage. It's super scary for him, but he gets the perfectly spaced jab into the perfectly spaced back air. 